tonight. He's our special guest inside Studio C. Please help me welcome back to the show for the first time since his freshman season, Fusene Traore. <laughs> Good to see you again, yeah. Foose. Thanks for being here. Oh, yeah, thank you. Ah. Big Foose smile. In his, he's in his fatigues because yeah. he's a warrior right now. <laughs> <laughs> we covered the Dayton game in our first segment. Uh, how, how, much, how much fun was that to be a part of a 23-point comeback last week? Oh, it was, it was just crazy, you know. Like, after halftime, you know, Coach went and talked to us. He was... I don't know for sure because was mad, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he told us, yeah, we just, just said that's not his first time he's been in that place, you know. He said he's been in the worst player than that, and he said always come back and win. And that just make everybody went crazy, you know. We said for sure we can do it here. And you did it. Yeah, and we did it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what's interesting about that Dayton game is, um, is that we got off over 33s and we shot the ball really well from the three point line. And in large part, that was because Foose put on a clinic the day before against Butler. And so every time Foose touched the ball inside, he was swarmed by four guys, literally four guys every single time. And it just opened up all these passing windows. And it just shows you the impact that Foose can have on this game. It was, it was actually a super special week, week for him. And, and um, in that Butler game, he gave a superhuman performance. It was really special. Foose, last yeah. season ended in March. Mm -hmm. um, what did you do in your off season before this next one began? What was your off season like? Uh, it was just like same thing, you know, working out with Shark, you know, like you know, Shark. Coach Shark, yeah, Frank Coach Shark, you know, is yeah. always, always trying to help you, you know, like he's been helping us a lot, and also the coaches, you know, we've been working a lot of post stuff, shooting, you know. Did you stay I've here the whole here. time? Yeah, I was, I was, I was here the whole time. I just want to couple fishing, you know, just fishing for fun. But you know, Foose is a <laughs> world-class fisherman. It's like an expert angler, right? No, it's incredible. He is like the fish whisperer. Yes. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> do you like the fishing in Utah? Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, I do love fishing. Do you do fly fishing? In addition, uh, do you like fly fishing? You tried fly fishing, or just? Yeah, I did try. I did try two times, but I like other one better. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, where do you like to go? I like. I like to go to strawberry mm -hmm. and all the little stuff here, you know. Okay. Yeah. So good fishing in Utah? Oh, yeah, it's good. Uh, so far, okay. so good, yeah. <laughs> we, Foose, um, Foose, Foose is a great fisherman with a pole, but whenever he gets frustrated, he just goes straight bare hands. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's incredible to watch. Oh, we, <laughs> <laughs> we, we, had, uh, we talked to Richie uh, Saunders during one of our, our post-game shows. And he was so happy to be playing with you again. Can you go oh, back yeah. into your relationship with Richie Saunders? Oh, he's just been, yeah, like my first, my first year here, you know, I couldn't speak any English, but we, I live with Richie, where, was, where my host family, you know. Where You're both second, at Wasatch Academy. Yeah, Wasatch Academy, you know. And it's always make me talk, you know. I said, man, that dude talk, man. <laughs> <laughs> he always make me talk, so I can, but like three months after, like, I really see like a, a lot of improvement on my English, you know. And we also play like the same high school, you know, and he always make me work, you know. Is it when fun? Whenever you go to the gym, he, he call me up, you know. So having him as a teammate again. Again, cool yeah. That? He used to be my big brother, but now he's, he's my little brother, you know. That's what I always, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I always told him, you know. Yeah, but he's a, he's a good guy. And Coach Pope, since you first met Foos to where he is now, uh, just in the communication, the language, the settling in, how's he come along to you? Yeah, so this is your fourth language or third language? Yeah, my third. His third language, and he's incredible. So we talk about this all the time, but imagine this. Imagine having English as your third language, flying across the world to a place that you don't know, coming to BYU as a freshman, being a 4.0 student. Mm. Like, it's incredible. And that's... Thank you. <laughs> now, now... Uh, that, that's because Foos is really smart. He's smarter than all of mm. us probably put together. And also because he works really, really hard. He works so hard. Um, and then he got a little shy when I said 4.0 because right now American Heritage is threatening his 4.0. Oh, if you yeah. know American Heritage <laughs> at BYU, it's a real deal. Finals oh, coming yeah, up. That, Let's yeah. go. <laughs> that class been giving me heart attack, you know. He's just, <laughs> he's just crazy. It hurt me. It hurt me too. I, I came as a Canadian uh, doing the American heritage thing. I was like, we gotta have a Canadian heritage class. I might do a little better. 
<laughs> in our first test, I was super confident, you know, because I feel like I know all this stuff. <laughs> and I went sitting with Tess in the sun, and I just, I got no idea what was going on, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, <was> just, <laughs> I felt that way a lot, yeah. Uh, I was just, you know, I said, wow, that class is, is really different, you know. Yeah, <laughs> really different. That's but I'm excited, it. we only have two more, two more weeks. <laughs> yeah. <can> do it. <laughs> <laughs> you can relax a little bit. Um, uh, Bahamas, how'd you enjoy the Bahamas? Yeah, it was. I think it was okay, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, of, of course, we want to win there, you know. You were there to work, but. Yeah, that uh, was our, our main focus, just go and win, you know. But it didn't happen, you know. But I feel like we learned a lot about each other, you know. And also where we are. Did you have a little bit of fun? Oh, yeah, I do, yeah. Just, yeah, I went to a couple slides, which was nice, yeah. The wa at the water park? The, the water big park, slide? Yeah, the slide, yeah. Did you do the one that goes under the sharks and yes, everything I else? I did that, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, we. No, I don't know if you would like to talk about it. Go ahead, hey, we tell all here. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, it was our last night after we won, you know. It was me, Trev, and Troy, Ruchi, TC, and Tanner Tulsan, you know. And so all, I didn't know you were going to throw all those guys <laughs> out of the bus. <laughs> like, I thought you were going to say some of us, but now that they're all clearly yeah, identified, yeah, that is, yeah. now you can tell them the yeah, rest. you know. And all the water park was closed, you know, and the shark one was closed, you know, and... We just say, yeah, I think so, yeah, we should do it, you know. And we went to open the gate and just start sliding. <laughs> and when I, yeah, there is a shark glass, you know, and there wasn't a lot of water, and you have to walk there and run so you can get up quick, you know. <laughs> this is all one in the morning, you said? Uh -huh. this, is, this is after everything's closed down. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. After everything closed down. So they found a way to sneak in. I didn't know this. I'm innocent. <laughs> in this You're not sanctioning the behavior. Yeah. <laughs> Well, they were so you were just walking on the beach with your wife at that point. Yeah. They, were, they were so <laughs> deliriously happy about this incredible comeback, which was yeah. a monumental comeback win. So, so I heard about this the next morning. So they, they climb up this. You've seen it on TV. And you go down this slide. And the, the end of it, you're actually sliding in a tunnel through the aquarium. And there's sharks all around you. And you come out. So apparently... The water was running, but it wasn't full speed. So when they got to the bottom through the tube of the sharks, they wouldn't, they didn't keep going. Yeah. <laughs> so if you could picture Foose in this little, uh, in this little tube, 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 trying to walk the through. Tube wagon, yeah. I wish, I wish I, oh. had, I wish I had been there with them when this was happening. Cause I would have, I would have told them that at night they open up the tube Ooh. to the sharks so they can swim. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't get a chance to, to give them that warning. Oh, oh that would be crazy. Huh? I, I, I only wish that uh, I only wish that uh, that Maddie and Emma had been aware of this and had been at the other side of the tube to get a picture of, of Foos trying to get out of a dry water slide tube at one in the morning. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. It was crazy, but it was fun, you know. Well, you're coming off a win. Anything goes. It was oh fun. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So I, there's another story. Do you want to tell the other story? Mm. Oh, you don't know. You got it. <laughs> so we skip it. We'll pass. We'll pass. Let's oh, <laughs> no, you got it. Cause yeah, you got it. OK, so I, I was not there to witness it in person, but you hear all these stories. So there is a like a epic, lazy river. It's all kind of a little yeah. waterfall. And the whole thing is, like, I guess, like 45 minutes long to get around the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So so Foos, who does everything so well, is a beginning swimmer. This is swimming is new to him a little yeah. bit. Mm -hmm. And so apparently he was in the lazy river and his inner tube flipped over. And the, re the report that I got was that all of a sudden guys came around the corner and Foose was, it's in a big ravine. And <laughs> Foose was trying to scale the side of the wall. <laughs> so we're going to have to have a conversation about oh, yeah, it was. safety. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh. But you, all in all, it was a good time. We'll just leave it at that. Yeah, all right. it, was, yeah. it was a good time, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, we're going to take a break. Uh, when we come back, uh, Foos goes through a, a gauntlet of action movie trivia. You didn't know this was coming. Maybe you did. BYU Basketball's Mark Pope continues after this. Stay with us. I was four years old when I left Zambia. My dad was born in Shila in the south of Italy. My mom is from Slovakia. We haven't really talked about it, never, not once. My dad doesn't really talk about his life in Serbia. I just really want to know who he is. And then discover who am I. <laughs> At BYU, we believe wholeheartedly in expanding joy 
And that joy comes from learning and serving. Some of the best, most lasting learning happens when we serve, when we experience, when we connect in real, lasting ways. It's what we call inspiring learning. Learning that inspires us to create a better world, to do and be better. After all, light shared is the best kind of light. Tim Daly Ford in Spanish Fork sells Ford vehicles, including the F-150, the pickup designed for work and play. Tim Daly Ford maintains a large inventory, providing more choices for selecting an F-150 with the power and engineering to carry and tow heavy loads. The F-150's design offers comfort, safety, and a range of options to choose from. Think Ford. Think Tim Daly Ford in Spanish Fork. This is BYU basketball with uh, Mark Pope, presented by Siegfried and Jensen. Let's keep having fun. Let's go to the game show portion of tonight's show. Ooh, Ooh. it's impossible trivia. This is nice. Foose, in your biography on BYUcougars.com, it says that you love action movies, especially the Mission Impossible franchise. Is that right? Uh, yep. Okay. Tom Cruise is my guy. Oh, he, Tom Cruise is your guy? Yeah. Have you seen all the movies? Yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, tonight, Foos and Mark Pope will go head to head oh, in Mission oh, Impossible oh, trivia. Oh, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Question one. Oh man. This is for both of you. Whoever thinks has the answer first, you can give it a go. In what year was the first Mission Impossible movie released in the U.S.? 2018. 1996. Foose only got here in 2018, so everything oh, starts there. Everything started in 2018. <laughs> <laughs> that is an unfair question. Unfair and, question. And, and so Coach Coach Pope says 1996 is correct. Way to go, Coach Pope has a one nothing oh, lead. Oh man, here we go. The is right there. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. I actually had no idea. I just looked at the the answers. Like, oh, no, no. Yeah, I didn't, see, I didn't see that. As of today, how many Mission Impossible movies have there been? You say five. No, I think it's six or seven. What do you think? I'm saying seven. The answer would be six. Oh, so we'll give that one to Foosie. Oh, six or seven. You had Mission Impossible 1, 2, and 3, Ghost <laughs> Protocol, Rogue Nation, Fallout. Those are the six. Okay? The last one came out in 2018. Question three. Uh, which Mission Impossible movie stars the late Philip Seymour Hoffman as a sadistic arms dealer in possession of the toxic weapon called the Rabbit's Foot? Which Mission Impossible movie was it of the six? Mm. Do you know? <laughs> nah. Okay, hold on. Oh, no. You... Well, don't look at it, Coach. Well, it just says, it, oh, it just gives the number. <laughs> I'm saying Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. It was Mission Impossible 3. Huh. Came out in 2006. Everyone's up on their Philip Seymour Hoffman trivia. All right, uh, question four. Which Mission Impossible movie features a Tom Cruise stunt that was filmed in the state of Utah. Ooh, what? That's the picture of it. There's the picture Ooh, of the stunt. And that was at Dead Horse oh, Point man. State Park in Moab. So which Mission Impossible was it that had that scene filmed so, in Utah? The first one? He says the first one. Fallout, I don't know. What do you think? I don't know, I have no idea. Okay, it's Mission Impossible 2. That was number two. Uh, Mission Impossible 2 for that one. I've lost track of who's winning or losing, but we're all winners. Yeah, we're uh, winners. Question five. <laughs> question five. Tom Cruise climbed up the Burj Khalifa Tower in Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. In which country and or city is that tower located? Do you know, Foos? Uh, nope. Okay, what's it called? What's it, what's it called? It's called the Burj Khalifa Tower. Burj Khalifa. Burj Khalifa. This is your side of the world. Uh, okay, let's go, let, let's say Dubai. They say Dubai? So yeah. he's going Dubai, what are you thinking? Um, well, I can't go Dubai then, I'm gonna go it's not Istanbul. I'm going Kuala Lumpur. And the answer here is Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. Ooh. By the way, <laughs> uh, if you wanted to go from Mali to Dubai, it's only 6,000 kilometers. Oh. No big deal. Wow. All right. Uh, question six. 
In Mission Impossible Fallout, we meet villain August Walker here, Ooh. played by Henry Cavill, yeah. which is the first time he's ever played a villain. For what role or superhero role is Henry Cavill better known? Is that true? Um, wow. Henry Cavill has he a is super rather famous. Superman. Is rather what? What's that? Say Superman. He says Superman. I got a problem with that. You can't be Superman and, and then play a bad guy. That's range. Yeah. That that's so called range. It's role. range. So he says Superman. You want to go with a different answer there, Coach Pope? Uh, yeah, I'll go. Um, I don't know. It's Superman. There we go. The answer is Superman. Yeah, yeah, Superman. Superman. yeah it's, it, there we go. And, and our last one, uh, besides Tom Cruise, your guy, mm -hmm. which Mission Impossible main actor has been in every movie? Ooh. All six. All six. All six movies. There's been Tom Cruise in every one of them, and then oh, only yeah. one other guy has been in every one. I know the answer is, to this. The actor? Yeah. So there are the options. I think it's Ving Rhames. Ving Rhames? You want to go with Coach on that one? Yeah, I'm go with yeah. The answer is Ving Rhames. There we go. Hmm. And again, oh, whether or not, I haven't even seen them. Yeah. It's been great. <laughs> there we go. Uh, uh, those were seven skill testing questions. I'm not sure who got more than the other. We're just going to go ahead and, and call Foose the winner. Hey, yeah, I guess we both win. Foose, enough. this Tom Cruise is amazing, but he never came down, back from down 23 to win. Oh, yeah, not true, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you talk about Mission Impossible. Let's see him do that. Mission oh, Impossible. Yeah. Come back. Come, come back. back. There we go. Tom Cruise, let's see what you got, baby. <laughs> oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. <laughs>